Hey everybody, welcome back. Don't forget to subscribe. Today we are reading Treetop Twins Wilderness Adventures. The Twins Run After a Rhino by Cressida Cowell. The sun beat down on the sizzling savanna and the grasses hummed with busy insects. The treetop family have taken their time machine and traveled, not back in time, but far, far away to the African savanna to study some very rare black rhinos. The treetop family were lying in some grass beside a water hole where three black rhino mothers and their babies had come to drink. It's important that we don't get so interested in our studies that we forget black rhinos can be dangerous, whispered Professor Pablo. They may get anxious, especially if they think their babies are threatened. And remember, if you are charged by a rhino, do not run. Just climb a sturdy tree. I'm a bit of a rhino expert. The rhinos were wallowing in the water hole, covering themselves in mud. Why are they doing that? asked Asha. Rhinos have very sensitive skin, explained Professor Pablo. They use the mud as sunscreen and to defend themselves from insects. As the baby rhinos played, they made high-pitched whines of glee. One of the babies started wandering away from its mother. Hey, go back to the watering hole, said Tulip, running after it. It's going to get lost. Tulip, come back here, said Professor Penelope. You can't help the baby rhino. You'll only scare it further away. The mother rhino lifted her head to see where her baby was going and made a low rumbling noise. How interesting, said Professor Pablo. I wonder what that noise means. The mother rhino had begun to walk in their direction. Look, your ears are flattening, said Elfie, peering through his binoculars. Her nostrils are flaring, and she's stamping her feet too, added Asha. I wonder why she is doing that. Uh-oh, said Professor Penelope. I think the mother rhino might be anxious about her baby, which means she may be about to charge. Sure enough, the rhino began running towards them at speed. Quick, everyone, climb a tree, said Professor Penelope. So Alfie and Asha and Tulip and Ted and Professor Penelope all climbed the nearest sturdy trees. Only Professor Pablo stayed on the ground. He may have been a bit of a rhino expert, but he was so interested in studying the rhinos that he forgot they could be dangerous. How fascinating! That rhino must be charging at around 55 kilometers per hour. That's twice as fast as a human sprinter. Dad! The twins all shouted down at him. Dad! 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 Luckily, just in time, Professor Pablo remembered his own excellent advice and scrambled up the nearest tree. The mother rhino charged right underneath the trees that the treetop family had climbed. The other rhinos charged with her. Together they made a terrible racket. Now we know why they are called a crash of rhinos, whispered Elfie to Asha. And they all laughed, though they did it very, very quietly. Those rhinos didn't mean any harm, said Professor Pablo. They were just worried about the baby. But just to be sure, the treetop family stayed in the safety of the tree branches until the rhinos had completely disappeared before going home for dinner. Nighttime in the African savanna. In the darkness, the giraffes stretched out their long necks to reach the sweetest and most tender leaves on the trees. Professor Pablo and Professor Penelope were getting the dinner ready. Ted was making the most extraordinary noise, a high-pitched whine, while jumping up and down and pointing at his mouth. Rew! Cried Ted. 
Professor Penelope came charging over. Are you all right, Ted? shouted Professor Penelope anxiously. He's speaking in rhino language, explained Tulip, and that means he's very hungry. Oh, thank goodness, said Professor Penelope in relief. I thought you were being attacked by something. You see, even human mothers will charge when they are anxious about their babies. Thanks for reading today.